Hello, in this video, I am going to tell you how you can solve this particular question from book Engineering Circuit Analysis by Hayat Kamali Durbin and the, uh, it is problem number 12 of chapter 5. So what is this question? This question is on the superposition theorem and the question says that we need to determine the individual contribution from each independent sources of the voltage as labeled in the circuit. Means we need to determine that what is the contribution of this 4 ampere on this uh, V and what is the contribution of this current source on this V, right? So using the superposition theorem. So to apply this, first of all, we need to redraw the circuit considering first only this particular voltage and then considering only this current sources, right? So to do this, let me draw the circuit. So, this like the volt current source will be deactivated and it becomes open circuit. Then it is plus minus this is 4 volt, this is 7 ohms, it is 2 ohms, it is I1 dash we can put dash this is plus minus we can put it as v dash and then we know that we cannot deactivate the dependent sources so this dependent source it remains at is as it is and the value it is i1 dash right this is 1 ohm this is 3 ohm right so this is the circuit in which we deactivated this current source. In the second circuit, we are going to deactivate the voltage source and we will keep this current source as active. So, let me draw that circuit. So, circuit will be now this voltage source is deactivated means it is replaced with a short circuit. It is 7 ohm. It is 1 ohm. This current source it is 6 ampere. This is 2 ohm. This is 3 ohm. Right. This is plus minus V double dash this current let it be i double dash right so this dependent voltage source it will be i double dash so these are the two circuits and this we need to solve now solving this two solving these two circuits what we can do we can now apply any other any other theorems so if i let me consider the mesh theorem so by considering the mesh theorem let me consider the loops so let this be the first loop having a current i let this be the second loop having the current i b and let this be the third loop having the current i c writing the kvl for the first loop i will get i will get 4 plus 7 i a plus 2 i a minus i b equal to 0 for the second loop now over here second loop like this are the open circuit so we can read. so for the second loop we will be having 2 ib minus ia plus 1 into ib plus 3 ib minus ic equal to 0 right and for the third loop for this third loop since in this particular branch the current flowing it is IC and it is in opposite direction to the direction of dependent current source. So simply our IC it is equals to 0 0.4 I1 dash. Right now what is I1 dash? If if you look at this I1 dash it is the I1 dash it is IA because IA is coming down and IB is coming up. So it will be IA minus IB. Right now we have 4 now we have four unknowns IA, IB, IC, right, and I1 dash. 
and we have four equation so simply if we solve this uh, this so we will get our ia as 0 0.46154 ib as 0 0.07692 and ic as minus 0 0.15385 ampere right now similarly similarly if we find solve this circuit having only 6 ampere current source and the voltage source is deactivated by replacing it with the short circuit so over here again let me assume the loop current let it be ia let this be ib let this be ic and let this one be id now writing writing the kvl for the first loop it is 7 ia plus 2 i a minus i b equal to 0 for the second loop i b now i b and i d they are they are forming a super mesh due to the presence of this 6 ampere current source so we need to write a combined kvl for these two loops i b and i d so writing the combined we get 2 i b minus i a for this one then for this one it will be plus 1 into i d then for this 3 ohm it will be 3 IB minus IC equal to 0. Right. Now, now this for this 6 ampere, since I, IB is going towards right and ID is going towards left. So, this 6 will be equal to IB minus ID because IB minus ID is the branch current that is flowing through this branch, right, which is equal to 6. Now writing the KVL for this third loop, IC. Simply first writing for this 3 ohm, we get 3 IC minus IB, right? Or since over here in the third loop, we have this dependent voltage source, right? So, and the direction of this IC, it is going down, right? So it means, it means that IC is equals to minus 0 0.4 i double dash and i double dash it is again i double dash it, it is again i a minus i b now solving this five we will get we will get i a equals to 0 0.288 ampere i b it is equals to 1.298 ampere i c it is equals to 0 0.4 ampere and id it is equals to minus 4.7 ampere right so these are the currents now once we get a current now coming back coming back to the question what we need to determine first question is that we need to determine the components of v v due to 4 ampere and v due to this 6 so what is V? Now, if whatever is the current that is flowing through this 3 ohm, so if current is flowing in this direction, then V, this V, it will be 3 into I, if this is I, right? So, this V dash, if we look at this V dash, again this V dash will be this current into 3. Now, what is this current in downward direction? The current that is flowing through this 3 ohm, it will be IB minus IC, right? So, our V dash, it will be 3 into IB minus IC. And if you substitute the value of IB and IC, you will get the value of V dash as 0 0.69 volt. Similarly, similarly for this V2 dash, V double dash for this, again it is I into 3. I is the current that is flowing. Means it is IB minus IC into 3. Now substituting the value of this IB and IC, this IB and IC in this, we will get the value as 0 0.0 point so 2.694 volt. 
so this is our v double dash the voltage due to current source right so this is the answer to the first part of the question now the second part of the question is asking compute the power absorbed by 2 ohm resistor so we need to compute this power so how we can compute this power simply we know that power is equals to uh, i square r right over here i is i1 square r and r is 2 so simply we can root we can write 2 i1 square now what is this i1 i1 is equal to i1 dash plus i1 double dash i1 dash is i1 dash is this current current due to 4 volt and what is this i1 dash it is i1 dash it is this right so our i1 dash if we substitute the value of this i a and i b so our i1 dash it will be equals to 0 0.39 ampere right and similarly our i2 dash is this and substituting the value of this i a and i b we our value it will be 1 point minus 1.01 right so our i1 i1 it is it is the sum of i1 dash plus i1 double dash so substituting this value 0 0.39 plus minus 1.01 .01. so adding these two values we will get point minus point 0 0.6 ampere so this is our this is our minus 0.62 it is our i1 and now substituting this value over here we get 0 0.62 ampere square and we will get the answer something as point seven three right so this will be the answer to the second part of the question where we need to compute the power absorbed by the 2 ohm resistor so if you have any doubt you can put it in our comment box and do subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends and colleagues thank you